Welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at how to install the trader. One of the common problems that some people always find, including myself. If that's something you're interested in and you want to know how to install the trader, or you're having problems installing it, then carry on watching this video guys and I'll take you through it. Before we get into the video, okay, just a quick reminder, if you want to enter the competition for 100 subs from the last video, at the moment I'm on 99 whilst filming this, just drop win in the comments of the last video to be in with a chance of winning £50. If you want to do your own ping perfect server, there's a link in the description below, and I'll also drop a link as well into the Discord if that's something you want to join and become a part of it and join the server to game online, there'll be a link for my server and a Discord. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video. The first thing we need to do then, as per normal, we need to go to our Steam Workshop and we need to type in Trader. The Trader we're going to be looking for is a Trader made by Dr. Jones, okay? So once we come into this workshop, we're going to type in Trader. I'm not going to go too much in depth within doing mods at the minute. Like I said, I have done other videos on this and this is going to be similar, apart from one or two points. So once we found the mod we want to do, we just want to hit install, wait for that to install, and again, we're going to put that on our command line and get that ready to go in the Daisy launcher. So we're just going to wait for this to download, and then I'll show you what to do next. So it's downloaded. After that, what we're going to do is we need to add the at number again, like we've done in other previous videos, and like I said, if you want to go back and check out my previous videos about how to add mods, you're more than welcome to watch them. But once it's downloaded, like I said, we're going to add that at number to our command line, and I'm just going to show you how to do this quickly. Once we're in our file manager, we're going to look for the correct at number. The simple way of checking this is like previous videos, just click on it, check you've got the trader. We've got the trader file, so we want to go back and get that at number. We're going to copy and paste it. So we're just going to highlight it. So we're going to have over the rename, copy. So just control and C I'm using then, obviously pressing and right click. And we're going to paste that onto the command line. So again, it's the second one down in the launcher. We're going to go to the end of our mods. Now you can see I have got a few mods for this server. So we are going to go right to the end, and then we're just going to control V or paste that in. And then that's going to show us, obviously, our command line is going to be done, and that's going to be finished. We're going to come out to there, so we're going to wait for that to finish process and then come out. We're then going to restart our server. So we're just going to wait for this to finish. This can take a little while, depending on how quick or slow your PC is. And for some reason, mine's on a little off day, but it's done. So we're going to click restart. Okay, then we're going to copy the query number. Once we've got that query number copied, we're going to do like before, we're going to open up our daisy launcher at the top, so the server's just restarted now. So once we've got that, like I said, once we've got that number copied, that's the number there, we're going to open up our daisy launcher at the top, and then we are just going to put that through there. So we're going to reset, we're going to put that number in and just make sure that goes green with the server on. Like I said before, it can go red, if it does I can show you ways around that, but we're just going to double check that now to see if it goes green, okay? So check server, and it's green, so our trader's installed. So, so far so good. Now what I'm going to show you is a lot of people at this point will boot the server up, so just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to boot the server up now, and I'm going to show you why, that it, obviously the trader won't be there, but I'm also going to show you what you can do to make sure that trader is there, okay? So I'm just checking for a trader file at the moment. You can see there's no file. So that's one of the reasons why this isn't going to work. But just quickly, I'll just boot the server up and show you, okay? Okay, so you've got to this point, okay? You've put the mod on. You've spawned yourself or you've run to the trader. And obviously, as we can see, there's no trader there, right? So you've gone to Green Mountain, you've gone to the trader locations, and there's no trader there. Why isn't this working for you? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, it's quite a simple fix. But like I said, unless you know it, then you wouldn't know obviously how to fix it. So for this, I've purposely come here to show you that if this has happened and you've installed the mod, it looks like it's working in a DayZ launcher, but there's still no trad trader there, this is how you fix it. Firstly, what I would do, I would click on the mod in question, and then look at the mod itself. Now, the mods will have instructions. Normally, they're on the front page of the mod. This will show you 99% of the time. This will show you what you're doing or maybe a step that you've missed, etc. If it's not in this part, check the discussions or the comments box or forums because somebody would say something on the mod why it's not working for you. Now, I'm going to be honest. I know the reason this isn't working, so I'm not going to go in-depth troubleshooting and looking through things. Okay, but this is where you look. This is where I find things. And then you go through and you read these forums and then you try and figure out okay but what I'm going to show you now is the reason why this hasn't worked to get the trader working what we're going to need to do 
we're going to need to go across to our trader file, okay? And there's a file in here, so we need to open this file. And in the trader file, there's going to be things that we need to copy in and we need to make a trader profile file. So this trader file here, what we need to do is create a trader profile. We're going to need, okay, to download all these individually, these files. Then we, once they're all downloaded, we're going to need to go to our profiles file. Once we're on our profiles file, we need to create a file that says trader. And then inside that trader, so in this file, if we haven't got a file already, sometimes you'll have one already for a restart, other times you won't. If you haven't, you need to go to new folder, and uh, not file, sorry, you need to go to folder, and just create the folder word trader. And then inside that trader file, the files I just showed you, once you've downloaded them to your PC, you need to re-upload them all into the trader profile file, okay? So you need to, that's empty at the moment. You need to upload them files into that, into that trader file, in profiles. So these here, download them all, and then upload them into the profiles trader file. So they're all downloaded. We're going to upload them now one at a time into this file. And then obviously we're just going to drag them in. If they've got numbers between them like these have, I have used a few trader foot profiles in the past, you need to take the numbers out, okay? So that's all they're going to say is traderconvig.cfg or whatever it is. Make sure there's no numbers in there. And then you just copy and paste then obviously, you just, sorry, you just copy what I'm doing then. So obviously press pause during time you want to make sure that you've got them set up exactly how I have. But we've got these uploaded, so the first three, then we're going to drag the other two in. We're going to rename them to take the numbers out. After that, we need to reset our server. So once we've got these in, we've taken the numbers out of the file names. So it's just the convig files or the, or the parts files or whatever parts of these files you're in, there's no numbers. Go back, restart your server. So you can see it there. Just go back then and restart the server after you've taken the numbers out. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this. So you just rename quickly, take the number out or adjust it however way you will to make sure it's, good, it's perfect. Press OK. That will resave. Do that to each and every one. Go back then and restart your server. And if you want, I will do a video including all this you can see here. All the um, files and stuff, how to move things around in traders and have things in different traders and address the prices and all that sort of stuff. I can do a separate video on that if you wish. But for this, I'm just going to show you how to do this quickly now. And we'll get the server reset. We'll spawn into game and then we'll show you where the traders are. So you can see now it's all done. Everything is as it should be. We're just going to come out. We're going to reset the server. And then we, do, we don't need to run the query key at this point or any time. At the moment, I'm just checking everything's there and everything's in the right files. You don't have to do that, but I can be a little bit like that. I just want to make sure they're all there and it's all correct. But then we're going to reset the server. There's no need to run a query ID. And then we're going to go to booting the server up and checking if everything spawns in with the server. And it's all there. So we just need to wait for this to finish quickly and load up our launcher. If you've got Daisy Launcher open like I have here, you can see it's actually open. Close it down and reopen it. Because if you don't shut that down, when you load in, it might still sh it might still not be there. Okay, to make sure that's down and then just reopen it again after you've reset the server. That then should make everything nice and fresh. And then when you log in, the trader should be there. And as we're just coming into game, the first thing you see in the top right is we've entered a safety zone, which means the trader will be there. And as everything's spawning in, you can see the traders are there. A simple way to check if everything's updating, obviously leave everything spawning first. You can see I'm trying to run around at the moment while everything's still rendering in. Leave it all spawning, run over, just press the F key, that's F for Foxtrot, on one of the traders. And you should see then if it's available. So you run up to them, press F, and you can see there are our traders. It's all working and everything's in position. I can do another video again, guys. Like I said, moving things around in traders, changing prices, etc. And also pretty much customizing the traders however way you want it. Um, if you want that video, drop a comment in this one. I'll more than happily do it. I might do it anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's getting the traders, obviously, from the launcher and everything into your traders, creating your profiles and making sure the traders run and work fine. Uh, if you want to spawn some money in now or sell something to make sure they work, you're more than welcome to. That will work for you. But guys, yeah, that's it. So I'm hope for hopefully that video helps you. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I just want to add, okay, since I've been recording this video or editing it, I've seen I've gone past the 100 sub mark. So, massive, massive thank you to all those who've obviously subbed the channel and shown support. 
I will do the draw now for the next video, okay? So in the next video, I will announce the winner from the last video. I would have done it now, but obviously it's come a bit late. So I am going to do it straight away in the next video. So keep an eye out for whoever's going to win in the next video, and good luck to you all. And again, a massive, massive thank you for hitting 100 subs. If you want to show some love to the channel, hit the sub or the like button or comment. And guys, thanks for watching. It is really most appreciated, and I shall catch you in the next video, guys. Cheers.